What is up my beautiful people? Welcome back to another video with your girl Pamela Janani. Welcome back to my channel. Pamela Janani, Earth Goddess, what is the vibe? So my empresses, my divine feminines out there who are on this twin flame journey that took them down for a little bit, but you're now rising, right? Um, your divine masculine is not telling the truth. And I'm going to give you guys the message that you need to hear, the confirmation that you need so that you can continue to proceed and know that all is good with you, okay? And what they did, they're in full regret for, all right? And if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and support me on this journey. I'm drinking coffee. My mouth is a little bit juicy. That I always say is bigger than your girl, okay? Give me a thumbs up right now, right now, so that you guys can build my content, build my, my channel, right? Support me on this journey, all right? Um, let's tap into the energy of your divine masculine, okay? So your divine masculine is trying to reach out to you energetically and tell you that they um, need access to you. They miss your energy. They miss everything that you gave them. They don't have it anymore, okay? And they thought that they would, but they don't, all right? Divine masculine is not telling the truth, not telling the truth at all to anybody that they're around, all right? They are missing you. They are in misery over this separation of you guys. They will not tell anybody this because they are trying to keep up their pride and their ego, okay? They are pretending to be happy and they're absolutely not happy, all right? They're feeling drained after thinking about what they did to you. A lot of these divine masculines are in full regret, okay? They're replaying everything that they did to you. That last conversation where they called you a stupid bitch, okay? That last conversation where they tried to belittle you and, and try to make you be in poverty. They're remembering everything that they have tried to do to you, okay? Blame that STD on you. They're replaying everything back in their mind about everything that they have done to a good person, a person that loved them unconditionally, a person that who, if they needed them right now, would still be there for them. They betrayed the wrong person, okay? And they're thinking about that, all right? Um, they're immature and letting the karmic get their way. A lot of these divine masculines let the karmic get their way. Whatever you want, karmic, they gave it to them, okay? And they're regretting that now. They made this karmic into a more evil monster than they were before okay this karmic was trying to attack you on all levels and they got the masculine to attack you on all levels and this person is now reflecting about that okay um confused about how to approach you because of your intuition is high these masculines are confused about how do i go about this how do i say this to the to my um to my person because they know what they did and they know how dirty it was not only that they know that your intuition has creeped up way higher than it was before you guys are tapping into your spiritual side stronger than ever your third eye is open and they know that they can't come to you like they did before and and pull one over you so when they come this time they have to come correct they have to come with good intentions because if they're not good, you automatically know it, all right? And they, this is why they are afraid to approach you. They haven't approached you yet because they have no clue on how to approach a high priestess because they are so used to being with this devil in a European dress, okay? This is what they are. The karmas are a devil in a European dress. This is what I call them, okay? Um, you can't be blindsided, misguided, fooled, or any, fooled anymore. They sacrificed a high priestess for a devil in a dress, okay? They did. And they now know it. A lot of these masculines now know it to the core. And a lot of them are still staying because they're still stuck in that cower energy. But a lot of them are ready to get up and come towards you or make things right no matter what it is. Whether it's you or whether it's trying to get back into your good graces, there are, they're coming, a lot of them. So you got a lot of masculines who are coming and a lot who are in that cower energy, okay? Take it as it resonates and take your situation into, um, into how it plays out for you, okay? but always focus on you, okay? Um, they're wanting to be in your energy, okay? They watch your social media platforms. They are trying to send you telepathically messages, sexual energy. They're trying to do all of these things to make you um, continue to think about them. And if you continue to think about them and get back into that phase of, oh my gosh, you you know, you know the beginning of that phase of the twin flame journey when you got betrayed for the first time and you're thinking about them nonstop and you're hurting you and you're crying, but you're no longer there, but they're trying to pull you back there so that you can remember and you can reminisce about the love that you have for them. So that way when they come back, it's like you never, they never left. But no, 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 no. You guys are you guys are not in that stage. You guys are like, now, this is what I deserve. This is what I'm worth. This is what you are going to bring to the table or you're going to leave my table, okay? And they know this, okay? Um, they're in guilt and shame for what they did and have allowed this karmic to do. This karmic told this person, don't do this for this person. Don't do that. Don't do that. And this person, you're divine masculine, listen, okay? 
You don't never tell a person what to do, a grown ass person. You don't do that. And for a person to listen to someone, I don't care if they're your fiance, they're your wife, they're your mother, your father, wrong is wrong and right is right. And you have to know if you're a grown ass person who can go to work, you can drive a car, you can eat your food, then you know right from wrong. Okay, so this is free will. And this is why karma is being served to this karmic and to these divine masculines. Okay, no, neither of them are not going to be not served with karma. Okay, and the more and more that these masculines keep entertaining this karmic, the more and more drama and chaos they will have in their lives. A lot of them are trying to blame me to blame the karma that's happening on you guys. No, 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 no. You guys watching, you don't mess with black magic. My collective, more all of you divine feminists, you don't do black magic. Divine feminists, empresses, high priestess do not need to touch black magic. You are getting love, okay, because you are deserving of love, because you give love, you exude love. These karmics are getting love because they are doing spell work, okay, love spells, sex spells. That's the difference that the, the divine masculines need to understand, is that you guys don't need to do any of that. The divine masculines fell in love with you because you were their spiritual wife, and they were supposed to make you their physical wife. They fell in love with everything about you, but they fell in love with the karmic through magic, Okay, and a lot of these masculines are understanding that now, and some of them are just playing boo boo the fool and they're staying, anyways. Whatever the case may be, continue on your path, Empress. Okay, let's keep going, my love. They need to release these people that they that that's holding them back family, friends, whomever it is that led them to this karma, this devil ass chaotic energy. They need to actually think about well, my mom told me to go towards this person. Does your mom know everything? Absolutely not. My dad, my sister the karmic. Your life is in shits right now, Divine Masculine. You lost a lot of stuff, money. You lost a lot of things. And it's not all about money, but the a lot of these masculines lost money because they are not humble. They were not humble. They tried to use their money over you, acting like they're better than you. I got a nice car than you. I got a nicer home than you. I'm about to marry someone and we're about to have all of this stuff. And you collective, you divine from them, you're going to be over there in a, in a hut. This is what the Divine Masculine wanted for you, unfortunately. Some of them had kids with you and they didn't think about the kids that they had with you. They just thought about one-upping you. They didn't care about having their kids in poverty. They just wanted to one-up you with the karmic. Well, now their life is in shambles because God doesn't like ugly. If you want to be greedy with the money that God gave you, God will take it away whenever he sees fit. And this is what a lot of these people are learning. They're being humbled. They're having a big ass piece of humble pie. Okay. And it's not something that you want it. The divine feminine and empress does not want their divine masculine to suffer. Are you crazy? They were rooting for you. They made, you guys made the divine masculine into who they are. Not right now, but before they get with the karmic, this divine masculine was a built man. Built a bear, okay? Built a bear, whatever. I'm not trying to be funny. You built this person to be confident, to be loving, to be nurturing. You built that and they gave it to somebody else. And now they're being humbled by God, not you, okay? You guys are spiritually highly intuitive, but you don't have the magic where you can say, mm, lose your job, mm, lose that money. Mm, lo no, nobody has that power but God. So divine masculines, if you're watching, stop trying to act like the divine from them, your person did magic on you, okay? The person that you're entertaining up in those sheets did magic on you. The person that you spoiled and gave a ring to did magic on you, okay? Wisen up. The person that you're with right now, the person that you left the collective for, gave you the STD and tried to blame it on the on your, your person. No, no, no. Wisen up, okay? But for all of you divine feminists out there, you empresses out there, stay on your path. God is with you. Be obedient to God, okay? And don't entertain these clowns out here. Now, if your divine masculine wants to approach you and come correct, okay, and, and get rid of this karmic, these divine masculines need to not come nowhere near you guys, okay, with lies and bullshit. They need to get rid of these karmics. They need to get rid of and put these karmic family members in their place and come correct with the word of God, all right? And if they don't, guys, don't worry about it, okay? Keep going. God has so much in store for you, all right? That is it for this message, my um, divine feminists. You guys are on the right track. Keep going, all right? This betrayal brought the beauty out of you, okay? Not the beast. The beast came out of your masculine and the karmic and the, and the devil and the European dress, all right? Love and light. Subscribe to my channel. Please give me a thumbs up. Share this content. We as women are killing it. We got a lot to do, 
okay? We're sticking together. We are loving each other. And this is what it's all about, okay? Love and light. I'll see you guys later. Bye.